quests. Oh, we gotta listen to those. We gotta listen to those hollow tapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good. That was a good time to it. Oh yeah, here we'll just listen to him in his bedroom. You don't mind, do you? Hi everyone. It's um. It's Mike. Oh, it's Mike. Surprise. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I know this has come out of the blue, but I don't have a lot of time. Okay. I'm breaking about a dozen security protocols just recording this, so I need to be quick. Mm -hmm. The army are preparing something big with China. Do you remember my buddy Alex from school? He's the guy who moved to D.C. when we graduated. Well, he's in the National Guard, too, and he says they've got a bunker there that he's going to get his whole family into. It turns out they've got one here, too. I've stolen the security codes, and I've sent a number to each of you. I, I know it sounds crazy, but it's the only way I can be sure you'll come. Uh, um, I'm sorry for running off like I did. Please, please come as soon as you can. I can apologize better in person, but we don't have much more time. Mike, what the hell is this? Mike. What? We don't hear from you since you run off to join the army. Then all of a sudden you send us some cryptic holotape? You start going on about nuclear bombs, codes. What's all this about my number being eight? Your mother's in pieces. I don't know what you thought was going to happen. Like, she, literally? She or... exploded. We're not coming to your bunker. That's my final word. Mike? Mike, this is your mother. I got your message. Your father is furious. I don't understand what you want me to do with this nine you sent me. I'm worried about you, Mike. I'm going to try and talk your father around. See if I can get him to agree to come. I love you. With this nine you sent me? It's just like a giant number nine. Like like a prop from Sesame Street. It was supposed to be six, but she's holding it upside down. That's why they put the line on the bottom of it. She thought it was above it. Hey, guys. I've got something to tell you. I mean, it's not going to be easy. Oh, boy. I know we're supposed to go to the bunker, but mm, here's the thing. I'm not coming. I've got a place in Vault 4. I met a guy who offered to swap places with me. Don't know why he didn't want to go. I'm not abandoning you. Please don't think I'm abandoning you. Is this to his family? We're going inside now. Sounds like it. I asked a guy to pass this tape on to you. My number is 1. When the vault opens, I'll come find you. I promise. See you in 20 years. When the is this is to his family? Family? It might be. And the last one. Listen, guys. I know you all had this great idea of gathering together in Mike's bunker for the end of the world. But guess what? Chicken butt. I'm not coming. I've decided to spend the end of the world at the bar. Certainly seems better than spending it with Dad. Now, all those hollow tapes we picked up had a code on them. Let's punch it into oh, the bunker. Oh yeah, that's right. They had a code. Uh, well, aha! I punched them into the bunker. Yeah. Then we'll turn them into Jane after we've expended their usefulness. Yes. Ooh. There's we stuff getting in there? there. Oh boy, power armor! Oh boy, power armor helmets! Woo! <laughs> the password is stronghold. How appropriate. More like weak hold because we got in easily. Ha ha ha. Some ammo. And 12 bullets. Oh, Pellets, boy. Mini nukes. That actually might come in handy. I'm not sure those items would have been of very much use to people in the apocalyptic hell. Yeah, I don't think he minds if he uses his computer. Nice. <laughs> uh, important information. The National Guard has been entrusted with the access codes of one of our region's nuclear launch silos. Sentinel site Camp Bell. Great. These silos represent our last line of defense against communist China. So I don't need to remind you how important it is that they be kept secure. For this reason, I am recommending they be stored in our secure... You're going to store the, the site in, the, in your secure bunker? <laughs> Along with the shipment of mini nukes. Keep them safe. We've had word the Chinese spy maybe after them. Oh, it's very important that we keep this very secure and don't say, distribute the access code piecemeal to our relatives. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm going to treat you like Veterans Affairs treats me. Get the fuck out of my way. Thank you. They actually addressed you? Ooh, making progress. Yeah. I input the access code. It's 8419. And that opens. It's opening! Oh. Look, Curie, you might want to back up. Curie, back up, back up, back up. The door's going to open right into you. Bank vault's going to hit you in the face. Look out. Oh, oh never mind. Now oh, it opens out. I got gotcha. you. Okay, opens inwards. Everybody in the elevator. 
Or, uh, you know what? I'll take the stairs. It's better for my cardio. Yeah. Swear to God, if we get in and there's a ghoul in this vault, I'm going to lose it. What the, there's usually going to be ghouls in vaults. I, if, if we get in here and there's a ghoul and he's like, how did you get in here? I've been waiting here for so long. I'm just going to shoot him. I'm like, not even, I'm not even going to talk to him. I'm just letting you know right now that, that if, if that is what happens, I will be shooting him first. Okay. I can at least get that out of my system. Gonna access it from Hello? the side. Hello? What we're, am I doing? We're gonna hack it from the side. That's how you open it. Open the door. Any ghouls? Mm -hmm. Okay, I see no life. Just a dead body here. Armstrong family holotape number six. And a holotape recorder. I guess you use that. I've never seen one of these before. This thing's cool. Oh, is that how everyone makes their holotapes? Ooh. This thing's neat looking! Look at this! It's alright looking, yeah. It's alright. This is cool technology! Ooh. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it looks neat. I don't know what the purpose of the giant blinky light on the top is, or why it's a vapor-proof light housing. That doesn't <laughs> seem to make money, much sense to me, but it looks cool. I bet this panel comes off the front of it. It's Property got... of the United States Army, manufacturer, code... Uh, I can't really read it. It's like 247445... Bunch of numbers. Caution something. And then it actually has like what is supposed to be an NSN on it, which is kind of cool. I forget what it is for electronics. 1005 is for weapons. If an NSN starts with 1005, that means it's small arms. Ah, uh, the NSN yeah. expert here. I, man, I had to order a lot of shit. <laughs> yep. Grab the holotape recorder in case you want to make some ourselves. I want to make holotapes. I want to make vague holotapes about how like, I don't know where I am or how I got here, but please come find me. <laughs> All right. I should listen to the Armstrong holotape. Number six, I'm Miss Armstrong, I presume. Yeah, we'll figure out what happened to you. I'm assuming that's your dying message. A data. It looks like no one else is coming then. Oh, you're just wearing a dress for fun? I knew this was a bad idea. I knew Mike was too much of a coward to show his face after all these years. As soon as he got his chance, he ran off to join the army. He abandoned us. Now he's done it again. It's because of you. Oh, wait. It's her. Oh. Excuse me? What did you say? I said it's because of you. That's why Mike left. That's why Kate didn't come. It must be why Ben isn't here either. Or maybe he died. How dare you? How dare you call me abusive? I'm going to beat the abusive into I've you. I've always been too scared to say it to you before, but now it doesn't seem to matter. Eugene Thomas Armstrong, you're a bully. You've always been a bully. It just took me a long time to see it. By the time I did, it was too late. But it wasn't too late for our children. That's what I told Mike when he turned 18. You... you told him to leave? You poisoned my children against me. Oh no! After everything I gave you. A home, a comfortable life. You ungrateful bitch! Oh, I can tell where this is going. Did I damage your ego, Eugene? You're so petty. All bullies are. You shut your mouth right now. All right. I don't want to listen to this anymore because it's just my childhood. So. Yeah, it, it sounds pretty abusive. We're just going to skip past that. Oh, look, here he is. There's there's uh, Eugene Armstrong's walking cane. I'm not fucking taking it because this guy's a piece of shit. I'm, I'm straight up not taking that because I don't fucking care. Why? We don't need his memento. I don't fucking want it. I, why are you yelling? We're in agreement. Oh boy, there's nothing in here. Oh, really? Absolutely nothing? I don't see anything. Oh, wait, there's one more holotape. Sentinel site Campbell access codes. I can't do anything with it. Oh, okay. So nobody came to this little bunker with him because the dad was a massive piece of shit. They all got out while they could. They all left. And then the wife was like, I guess I'll just stay here. Because, well, it's, it, you know, I shouldn't be doing that voice. It's more comp Being stuck with an abuser is way more complicated than that. That's very understanding of you. It's not like the fucking quest writer had any idea of nuance, though. <laughs> oh, you can watch yourself ascend to the elevator. Great. That's, that's fun. I like that. Yeah, it's neat. I listened to... Uh, is it because I... Is it because I didn't listen... Oh, my... You shut your mouth right now. Oh, hey, it started from, like, close to where I left it off. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Great, we get to hear we get to hear him beat her to that. <laughs> Sarah, stop being so melodramatic. Sarah. Boop. 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 Sarah. Look at bars now. Oh God. What have I done? Ah. Uh... 
Now we can return to Sue and turn this in. Great. Do you have any news about the Armstrong family? Yeah, they're all dead. So, even in the bunker, all of the Armstrongs died? Must have been brutal in those early days of the bombs. Still, no, the ones that made it's it. nice to have some closure. Yeah, only two Take people these made caps it. for your help. What do you care? The whole thing, and then he's just summed up in one sentence of, Wow, it must have been brutal. Anyway, here's some money. Wow, great. I don't need anything else. No, this is the school. Yep. Hey, it's... Oh, they're the teachers. Yeah, the twins are here teaching. Oh, God. These kids are doomed. You're getting an education in stereo. Look at this, brother. We have a guest in Vault 4. A guest? I don't think we've ever had a guest before. Maybe they can be useful. Yes, yes. Perhaps they can. I some... don't know <laughs> if I want to work with you guys. <laughs> <sighs> that is disappointing. Very disappointing indeed. Ugh. My brother and I run the vault school, you see. It's a very demanding job. That it is. And we have to do it with only the bare minimum resources. The vault really was terrible. Understocked with educational materials. A single As globe. As my brother indicates, we only That's have a handful of textbooks no, from they got which two to globes. teach the children. It's a terrible problem. Terrible. But and two bases. for the first time, and we are able to correct that. Since you are able to leave the vault as you please, perhaps you could locate further educational materials for us to utilize? We could pay you, of course. Yes, of course. What do you say? Fine, I'll help. Then it's settled. Bring us educational materials from local high schools, and we shall pay you. Bring them some poor, some contraband, yeah. Right. Maybe a third globe! I'm th no, let's not, go let's not go talking crazy. Do cause trouble. Look at me, I'm stomping directly on your religious artifact. <laughs> you fucking nerds. Look at me go, watch this. Look, I'm gonna shoot a hole in it. You worship our asses. Yeah. I hope you're getting along with our new friends from the vault. Chuck is a really great guy, isn't he? He seems very dedicated. Chuck wants to work for the good of everyone in the vault. That's a motive I can understand. I'm pleased you've already done so much to build up a good relationship between our two communities. I need endorsements from other Commonwealth mayors. Do you think you'd be able to collect them for me? What? Wh why would anyone care? Mayor Hancock is a must-have. Say what you want about Good Neighbor. Hancock is a popular figure, and he's really turned that place he around. He doesn't even know you exist. Make sure you get Mayor McDonough, too. He Having the mayor of a big exist. city like that on our side is bound to win over some undecideds. Even if it does cost me Teddy's vote. Also, I've heard that the mercenary McCready used to be a mayor in the Capital Wasteland. I think he hangs <laughs> around the third rail in Good Neighbor. He might be an unconventional choice, but he'd give my campaign some edge. Those three should be enough. Make sure you're quick about it. This might be the last opportunity we have to influence people before the vote. When the hell are you gonna do it? <laughs> Go do the vote now! Gotta cut down on the jack. What the hell is that noise? What the... Uh, things may be a little more hazardous today. I, what is happening? I hear some things stomping around. Oh, there's another one. Oh, one of the big behemoth you crabs. Ah! I thought he got a giant blunt he was gonna hit us with. All right, he's down. What is he on a? St what the? F is that a tree trunk? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> he's got a big log and his pinchy pinchy. This crabber is gonna be so happy. You're gonna eat for days. Oh yeah, no, that is. Why does he have Queen Myrlurk meat? He's an emperor. Because he was eating out her ass. Ew! <laughs> I like the rain. Can't say we've gotten much of it around here, but maybe that's why I miss it. <laughs> it rains here all the time! It's radioactive as hell, though. <laughs> you know where we can find educational materials? In this raider-controlled school! Once we kill the raiders... They're not gonna use those books. It's being Come wasted. On. Yeah, they're Places just gonna to set be. the books on fire! Stop squandering their Ex potential. Excuse me? <laughs> well, I'm shooting this guy in the head and it's not doing, all right. <laughs> well, you exploded spectacularly. I appreciate that. Thank God. You had a lot of armored units. <laughs> okay then. This source uh, for blood is most unsettling. He's not thirsty. Maybe just, maybe just a little parched. Parched for blood. A little, just a tiny bit of blood. I can have some blood. He's it's a treat. He's a little peckish for blood. For blood. 
All right, scour this. Thing. Oh yeah, I saw a bunch of stuff, a bunch of educational material in here. Yep, sure. Uh huh. Uh -huh. We're looking for educational materials. You gotta find the teacher's edition of all the textbooks. Yes. There was at one point one of the math classes I took when I was in college. They accidentally sold me the uh, the <laughs> teacher's textbook. Nice. And uh, yeah, I just I didn't do algebra homework for the entire fucking year. <laughs> oh. I was going to college for writing. So like, what the fuck do I need math for? <laughs> Fair enough. There it is! He's got the- Yay! Educational materials! The folder, I guess, of things. All right, was that it? Was that was all we needed? I, we just gotta bring it back, I suppose. Okay, all right. That was an incredibly easy one. <laughs> back oh, there. there's three! <laughs> there's three now! <laughs> oh, God! It just gets worse! Where did they import this AI from the forest? Mecha Shiva! Fresh food Mecha here. Shiva! <laughs> oh, hey, he's right there. He would, I oh, see you have they the book. Were, they were inside Perfect. of each other. Oh. Here is your pay, as promised. Okay, thank you. You're well. Just grab the education materials and run. All right, then. You're welcome. Was, uh... I don't like that that just started smoking. <laughs> that makes me nervous. Well, I wasn't worried before when it wasn't doing anything, but now I'm worried. We're going back to the base anyway, so... Mike, I need you to bring me two 55-gallon drums filled with mineral oil. We gotta fill up the inside of that thing fast. Mineral oil? Yeah. Does it? You don't put out a, a rocket fire with oil. No, but if there's nuclear materials in it, you put mineral oil in there to help stabilize it and keep it from reacting with anything. That's an old wives' tale. Is it? I have no idea. It is. What do I look like, a nuclear weapon scientist? I, I have a passing knowledge of nuclear weapons. I fire soda at my enemies. Talk to Mayor McDonough and see if we can get an endorsement. I don't think Mayor McDonough's gonna give you an endorsement for jack shit, dude. He doesn't even know who you are. I'm, a, I'm interested to see how they wrote this. Yes, I would love to give you an endorsement. Or silent nodding. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey. What can I do for you? Oh, don't be shy. I'm the mayor. I'm here to serve the people. I'm here because I need your help. You'd be helping us create a better world. Oh, very well then. Now I have to get going. A mayor's work is never done. Excuse me. Cool. That was the easiest endorsement ever. Yeah. Well, if I've never heard of them, then I'm sure nobody else has, and I won't catch any slack for endorsing them. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's everyone calm down. Calm down, please. Mike, hey, get away from that. Get away. Violent disagreements here. You don't know what it's going to do. I don't, I don't. You need something to take the edge off. Oh, my God. Fred Allen. <laughs> That's Hotel the thing, all right. It's going. It's, oh, my God. Watch out, everybody. <laughs> oh, no. It's going to buy some stores. No, stay away from Daisy's discounts. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> What is yeah. happening? Oh, it lost the barrel. It lost the barrel. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, guys, everyone, everyone, I think it's okay. I think the threat has subsided. The threat has subsided. It kept barreling towards us. I was. Ah, it's attacking me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I touched it. I you, touched it. I started it up again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, there's multiple things. Look. There's. Ah! <laughs> Help! 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 Oh, my God. It tried to eat my face! Oh, it was uh, one of the mimics I see. My god. Oh, yeah, okay, he is here, and he's on a bender! What do you need, Sometimes man? you need to sacrifice. I'm here because I need your help. You'd be helping us create a better world. You kidding? Of course. Always happy to see someone enjoy their work. <laughs> that has nothing to do with what we were asking you for, but all right. Everyone is so amicable about this. And I have no idea who McCready is, so we'll just lie about getting his endorsement. Yeah, we don't know who McCready is. Hey, Mayor! Oh, let's see who you got. Fantastic. You got all three? You must be quite persuasive. Getting Matt McDonough was quite the coup. He's a well-respected figure in the Commonwealth. Is he? Hancock's endorsement is certainly... colorful. I like McCready's. He's a man people can relate to. The election is only five days away now. We've entered the Purda period. The what? Which means we're prohibited from campaigning in order to let people make up their own minds. That means I don't have any work for you. All that remains is to wait for election day. Best of luck, and thanks for all your help. <laughs> Man, I cannot wait to set that vault reactor to explode. <laughs>
<laughs> Can't wait. You think I'm joking? That's how we're gonna end this series. It's just gonna be Vault 4 blowing up. It's gonna be me holding a whiskey and coke and watching a mushroom cloud rise over the where where Vault 4 used to be. Since are all right with me. Shit, we're all a little fucked up inside oh, anyway. Oh no, Tid Cantania! This settlement's gonna last months. Hey, hey! What the? Give me that back! <laughs> Stop you taking my guns! Uh, yeah? Maybe even years. I got faith in you, Chief. Oh! <laughs> they keep stealing the real FN NATO. The only <laughs> gun they ever steal is my fucking FN. They know what's the best weapon. I got... I, Look, why, why does everyone use my bed? Why? Uh, <laughs> wow, the blood Did force. Did that kill her? The blood <laughs> force of the land. <laughs> Stay out of Malibu, Lebowski. Stay out of Malibu, deadbeat. Not every day is a good one. But if a bad mood comes, I'm not letting it win without a fight. Definitely don't want Church of the Four Robes. Umpire guards. Whoop, Grandpa's nope, don't scrap Grandpa's hat. I like Grandpa's hat. <laughs> gotta keep Grandpa's hat. Ah, yes, our newest arrival. I trust you're learning to fit in. Hang on, hang on. I, I'm gonna back out and I'm gonna make the weather stop so that we, we can actually hear what he's saying and we don't hear. I saw Llama Companion Heather and I got really excited because I didn't see the Heather part. You thought it was a Llama So I got really excited and I was like, a Llama Companion? I want a Llama! Excuse me? Excuse me? He cut off his arm. Remember what you were saying about being able to rip off people's arms? Jeez. 